Good evening and welcome. I'm Sarah Coots and you're watching Face Off. I'm Sarah Coots and these are film students. This is Culture Jam. Join me, Sarah Coots, James Sherwood and his hair for an insight into all this is interesting and quirky. Yes, friends, the future is here and these are brilliant. Having played their first gig at the Water Rats Theatre in August 2006, they have since played and sold out gigs all over London. The best thing about this is it's really cheap, it's only 20 quid, anyone can play with it. Now the steering's not so good, but that's probably me lumbering towards me like a pumped up dog lumbering off his face on a cocktail of amphetamines and an in-depth knowledge of French New Wave. It's the National Film and Television School. Uh, most people know you for Birds of a Feather. As well as the acting, you've now kind of taken a little back seat because you've got your own uh, performing arts academy. <laughs> I've got an academy. <laughs> Helen O'Hara, Culture Jam film reviewer and Empire Magazine critic, has seen both films and she's here to tell us her thoughts. Welcome. Now there's lots of films about Jesse James, yeah. um, but this one in particular is uh, an adaption of the 1983 novel by Ron Hansen. That's so, right. What did you think of it? Um, it's, it's fantastic. So what am I talking about? Let's have a look at these weird and wonderful clips. As I said before, this item is a taste of Scotland and in an effort to bring a bit of regional cuisine and culture to the show, uh, we'll be looking at some classic Scottish dishes. So first up, deep fried battered Mars bars. Make sure you get a nice big bit of batter. Go on, tuck in, don't be shy. In you pop. Oh, that's a big chunk. <laughs> Are we going to see any chunks coming back up? And I think his face says, oh, it's lovely. Okay, excellent landing there. Thank you very much. Okay, on to the next round, the news round. In this round, our teams are given news stories to present. But who's got the only true story on James's team? And who has the only false story on Tammy's team? Correct. So the scores at the end of that round, we have Tammy's team on 15 points. And racing into the lead are James's team on 25 points. Yes. Three boys getting that one Whoa. right. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guess what I was what I was though? Or are you a prat? I'm going to take this eggnog and curl up on the culture jam couch with Santa and watch a Mexican wrestler pound down Mr. Floppy. Enjoy. Wow. I was fueled by desperation. Desperation, that rings a bell, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just about it for tonight, but we shall return tomorrow. Time to end the show. Good night.